Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie, welcome. So today, let's talk about hair shedding, okay? I know it can be something that's kind of frustrating and crazy and you hate to see it, but a lot of times it's just straight up normal shedding. So we're gonna get into all of it. I'm gonna tell you what it looks like when you're shedding normally versus when you're shedding excessively and the things that you can do to avoid the excessive shedding you definitely don't want that, okay sis? Before we do jump into everything as usual, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you can be notified every single time the new new drops. All right, let's go. So, shedding. Shedding is kind of a little bit of one of those things where when it happens, you kind of want to freak out because it's like who wants to see their hair falling out? But at the same time, it's just important to know this shedding is actually normal. Like I really wanna start there because your hair is supposed to shed. Just like how our skin will shed from time to time, your hair needs to shed as well. So the general rule of thumb is 100 hairs a day. That is the normal amount of shedding that healthy hair will have. So I used to relax my hair for years and I used to wear my hair really, really straight. And when your hair is straight, it's so easy to kind of see the hair shedding throughout the day. Because it's straight, they just kind of fall out. You tend to like brush your hair through a little bit more often throughout the day when your hair is straight as well. And the brush also helps to get out those shedded hairs. Again, completely normal as long as it's around typically 100 hairs per day. When it comes to curly hair though, I can tell you it is definitely a lot different because your shedded hair doesn't always kind of just like float out and it's fine. Like a lot of the times it just kind of sticks in here because it's so curly, right? So it's like kind of curled up within the other curls and it just stays there. So a lot of times when you're doing your wash day, that's the chance where we're actually combing through and those shedded hairs actually get a chance to fully come out. So y'all have seen my natural hair journey. I did start from doing a big chop and I have to say that now at like a little bit over two and a half years, like at this stage with my hair being this long, I have definitely been noticing a lot more shedding on my wash days. So when I'm combing out, there are much bigger clumps of hair coming out. And at first I was kind of just like, oh my gosh, what's happening? Did I use something bad? Did I do something wrong? It can be really easy to start like getting freaked out and stuff, but I really had to remind myself like, girl, your hair is growing. You have a lot more hair in your head, which is why when it sheds on wash day, it might seem like a lot more. So I always like to remind myself of that rule of thumb, 100 hairs a day. Now let me break it down a little bit for you. If you do stretch your wash days over a week or longer, you are 110% gonna notice a lot more hair falling out or shedding on your wash day versus somebody who washes a lot more frequently like every four to five days or so. So for example, if you are waiting a full week, so seven days before you wash again, you've got 700 hairs that are supposed to come out of your hair on that wash day because they've kind of just been stuck in here the whole week. Whereas if you are kind of more like me and you wash every four to five days, that's only 400 to 500 hairs that you can expect to see on your wash day. And so obviously visually seeing 400 hairs versus 700 hairs come out of your hair on a wash day is gonna look very, very different. So I just wanted to point that out because if you are somebody who stretches your wash day and you are kind of feeling like, oh my gosh, is my shedding too much? You gotta keep into account that that's seven days of shedding that's all coming out at one time. It's just super, super important to know this and understand it and remind yourself of it because again, nobody likes to see their hair coming out, but it is 100% normal when your hair is shedding at just about 100 hairs a day. The part where it gets a little bit tricky is when your shedding becomes excessive. So what's important is to make sure that you're always listening to your hair. I know I preach this to you guys all the time, but you should definitely notice a difference when your hair is shedding normally versus if it has excessive shedding. Now excessive shedding can definitely be a sign of a larger problem. And when I say excessive, I mean consistently excessive. Not just, oh, this wash day seemed a little bit more than normal. No, it's gotta be like a few wash days where it's like, wow, this is not normal. Or even when you're styling your hair, or just playing with your hands through your hair and you feel like hair is just continuously coming out, like that is when it's truly, truly excessive and there's something off that you need to kind of fix in order to solve that problem. So there are a number of things that could cause excessive shedding. 
One of the main things is using products that aren't agreeing with your curls. If you are like me and you're constantly trying to experiment on different times of products, if your hair doesn't agree with one of the products that you're using or maybe even a combination of products that you're using, then you may experience that excessive shedding. It can also be a sign that you're due for a trim. That's definitely my hair's favorite thing to do when it tells me, girl, I'm fed up take me for a trim i need some new life like literally my hair will just continue to shed 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 and it gets like super excessive and then as soon as i get a trim it's like boom back to normal good to go so definitely making sure that you're getting your frequent trims every four to six months roughly will help you avoid any crazy excessive shedding Another way that you can avoid excessive shedding is also making sure that your hair has a nice healthy balance between moisture and protein. I've mentioned this in a couple other videos where it's just super important to make sure that you're not putting too much protein or too much moisture. Like finding that perfect balance is where you're going to find your best and most beautiful hair days, okay? So what this basically means is use your protein mask one week, use your moisture mask one week, and then just really listen to your curls and kind of see how it likes that alternating mixture. If you find that your hair kind of needs a little bit more protein, if you have more high porosity hair, then maybe you can do protein, protein, then moisture. Or if you're on the opposite end, you have lower porosity, you need more moisture, then you can do it the opposite way. It's just a matter of, again, listening to your curls and just trying to find that perfect balance for your curls in order to make sure that your hair is just nice and happy and when she's happy she's not gonna shed excessively of course one of the biggest reasons for excessive shedding is just straight up damage any kind of damage color damage heat damage like those are gonna be your biggest contributors to that excessive crazy shedding so as y'all know I always like to encourage you guys to stay away from heat, stay away from straightening your curls, cause that's just not good. Curly hair is a little bit more sensitive. You gotta be really, really gentle, give it lots of TLC. So I always, always say stay away from the heat, period. And then in terms of coloring, there are definitely ways where you can get hair color, get that look, get the vibe without having to sacrifice the health of your hair at the same time. So that's gonna look like making sure you're staying up with your weekly deep treatments. And it's also gonna look like you going to a professional stylist to get it done, preferably one who is good with curly hair specifically. I did write an entire blog post going over all of this actually, like all the ways that you can make sure to keep your colored hair nice and healthy from even before you go and get it colored all the way up until it's colored, what do you do now? Like all of the above, all of the details are in that blog post. So I'll go ahead and link that below in the description box if you're interested in reading about that as well. Excessive shedding could also be a sign of some kind of deficiency, like a vitamin deficiency of some sort. So you should make sure that you're staying on top of all your vitamins, your regular daily vitamins, vitamins as well as even some hair vitamins my current favorite are the curls blueberry bliss liquid vitamins they are so good they're liquid so that means that you are absorbing so much more of the vitamin than you would with a regular pill vitamin so it's really really great and i can also tell you 100 that at least for me it did not break me out i know a lot of hair vitamins that cause breakouts and stuff but this liquid one definitely doesn't break me out at all so i would 10 out of 10 recommend and i'll go ahead and link that in the description box for you below so you can check that out as well lastly excessive shedding can also be a sign of a deeper problem with your scalp or with your skin so at that point if you've done everything you possibly can and you're still struggling with even like an irritated scalp and then lots of shedding to go with it, I would definitely 110% recommend that you go and consult with a doctor or a dermatologist who can really give you their professional opinion on what's going on and also maybe even supply you with some special vitamins or special medicine. I don't know what the case would be, but if you're really struggling like on another level, definitely go see a doctor. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out there that there are definitely some issues that could be left field that I list can't help with, but your doctor. Check the doctor, because they can help. That's way over my pay grade, okay? <laughs> so yeah guys, I really hope this kind of puts you at ease a little bit if you're a little worried about your shedding that you've seen sometimes. And if you are experiencing something that is crazy excessive, I hope this gave you some ideas on how you can try and fix it yourself. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also, if you didn't subscribe in the beginning, but you like what you see, go ahead and make sure you subscribe now. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.